Welcome back to the second episode of my hardcore gameplay series for The Planet Crafter. I'm Icon and we're going to continue our trip for survival as good as we can. Last episode I gathered some food, some everything, but we're still very much in the need of different things. Mostly now vegetubes to create more, more oxygen, which will enable us ultimately to finally plant our own food. Until then, I'm still very, very much in the hands of the loot table to keep myself alive. So how much power do we have? We have, we don't have enough power generation there, so let's plop down another wind turbine. Go! And now we can place in that nice little thing there and let's see we're gonna need another round of ice and magnesium to magnesium sir and then we're going to be able to produce more oxygen i really have no clue how much more i'll need until i can grow food but for sure i'll try to survive that long that is So, my hunger bar was fully restored when I... Let me check something. Is that a cheese? Oh, God. You can totally override that hunger system. Oh, guys. All right. So, before I'm going to starve to death because of bad RNG... I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I might be cheesing, okay? Forgive me if I do so, because as a matter of fact, I really got no clue how the hell you are supposed to survive until you have 12,000 units of oxygen in the atmosphere. So, nice workaround. But I think it's also not so much about um, this extreme, um, this extremely fast forwarding to, um, to the food production but much more about not accidentally killing myself out of greed. But I'm actually quite relieved to see that the, there is a <laughs> probably unintentional loophole there to um, mitigate that, in case you want to play hardcore yourself and uh, you're a wuss like me. I'm just kidding. It's a sandbox game, and I personally like to say play your sandbox the way it makes yourself happy. It's really very, very important to do so. And that's also pretty brutal. I mean, we're going to need so much oxygen before I can create my own food. That's just outright crazy. Well, okay, we got ourselves some things there. I got a solar panel blueprint. Oh, right. It's that for the whole terraformation, huh? So it generates energy that powers all machines on the planet. And I think now that I have a little bit less pressure on my mind, let's keep going. All right, I'm, I'm quite relieved. I mean, this is a little bit of an exploit, but honestly, I feel like I wouldn't know how the hell I'm supposed to produce 12,000 units of oxygen before dying. You know? so that's okay. That's okay for me to cheese like that. But there's one last thing that I want to try. Save one more time. Does it also refill the water? I didn't pay attention. Yep, it does. <laughs> yeah, that's also a way of uh, doing it. But I'm pretty, pretty sure that this kind of cheese is no longer available in a couple of versions. I can't imagine that the developers will leave that open forever. Hey, look at that! There's a chest I totally overlooked. So, oxygen capsule, space food. <laughs> yeah, not that much of a need anymore, but there's a lot of iron and other quite desirable materials in there. Okay. So, I like that because that means I can now focus a bit more about the on the actual gameplay and a little bit less about scuttling around like a madman to not starve and uh, die otherwise. 
fab was a little bit rough in the long run, I gotta say. So, let's uh, weld on in another compartment here. Oh, you don't need to build doors. Nice. All right. Didn't know. So, let's see. I haven't crafted myself a deconstruction tool yet, so we're going to need something easy for that. Okay. So, I've already found a couple of ruins around there. But what I didn't find yet was iridium. We haven't found any iridium so far, which is totally okay for me. But that also means I feel like going for more power production and more drills now that I know that I don't have the need to Pressure on like a crazy, uh, like a crazy horse. Okay, um, crafting. I want a deconstruction tool. Need to salvage wrecks. Now that's that's sounding quite interesting. Okay, let's go for the tier two backpack. I need one more unit of iron. Wonderful. No problem. No problem. And as soon as my capacities are high enough, I want to go for larger, longer explorations. Put one thing at a time. Okay, so... Inventory full. Damn. So, well, that sucks. I, I don't like it that I'm not able to craft these items out of my inventory. It feels a little bit crappy, honestly. But fine. Okay. I bet this uh, will be things that change in the future, so I need one unit of iron. And now we got a real backpack, basically. Okay, perfect. So... Water. So to make to make things not too um, cheesy, my plan is to only rely on that um, on that emergency refill if I really need to. Okay, so we don't overdo this method. Because you know I want to be, I want to play this game legit, but I feel like it doesn't feel. Now, I don't think that you are actually capable of surviving that long without luck and a lot of other things or or knowledge to know where you you get to where, where you get your um, other materials from I bet without these uh, parts of knowledge I wouldn't know how the hell you're supposed to survive that so speaking about surviving I got enough oxygen bottles to look at this thing there. Yeah, four oxygen bottles are enough. I want to check out that stuff here on the horizon. I'm pretty sure this will get us somewhere. Let's see though, I feel like it might be further away than it looks, huh? Yeah, well. Mm. No. It looks to me like this this is a death trap, honestly. This place is very far away, and I don't feel capable of getting there without dying, so I'd rather not. Very important rule when you play hardcore game modes and the like. Get your get a hold on your greed. Otherwise you will die eventually. 
Um, picking up some titanium too. And let's get back to our home base. Yeah. That wreckage down back there is pretty far away. Seriously. Finally seeing my structures again. There's the chest. Yeah, this is really far away. Down to my last oxygen bottle. But I want to pick up as many of these materials as possible. Because we're... I want to build some own... Um, some storage space of my own in there. Okay, so the travel to the wreckage is delayed for now. Let's upgrade a couple of containers. Can I... Oh, too bad. Can't stack them. I'm disappointed. That would be really cool. So, deconstruct screens. I want to have a own table for a bad energy level screen. It's, this looks so uh, amateurish, you know. You have that on the floor. Okay. So, a handful of resources in there. We got oxygen capsules and the like. And, yeah, you know. I'm holding myself back now from just... Uh, from just eating by save loading. Alright, so let's check out how it's working here. So oxygen, we're really not getting anywhere in a... Uh, I don't know how the hell it's supposed to work in the hardcore mode to go for... A, to reach the food grower without dying beforehand, honestly. So I'm quite happy that I discovered this little loophole here. Okay, now, let's check out what do we need for the solar cells. Solar panels need iron, double cobalt, and silicon. Iron, double... Double iron? No, one iron, double cobalt. Okay, we got one iron. Got silicon, we just need to patch the cobalt. Okay. Nice change of pace to fetch some cobalt to actually bought, build something with it instead of just eating it or sniffing it in that regard. Alrighty. So since survival is now a lower lower priority thing, I wonder whether or not I shouldn't put, just put up more drills. Let's check out what drills need. Titanium and iron. Let's check out how much titanium I have in store there. I got one unit of titanium and three units of iron, so let's gather two units of titanium. And do I have water on me? One last bottle, so I'll need some ice too. Okay. There's one thing, though, worth mentioning. The more I'll build here, the scarcer the resources will grow. There's not an endless uh, supply of resources. I know that there's eventually meteorites dropping from the sky, resupplying my resources a little bit. But at the end of the day, that's all we can expect. go for another water bottle and let's get on in some drills. I wish you could just build more of them at once. But sadly the game doesn't seem to support that. Okay, now we're putting up pressure like that. Okay. Another oxygen capsule and let's see. We're going to be, be able to build better drills quite soon. Very soon, even. Nice. 
There's still the pressing question, where the hell is Iridium to be found? And let's head on to this direction and see what I can find there. I got, again, four bottles of oxygen ready. And this time I don't want to go for the wreckage there. I just want to check what I can find in this direction. I hope I'll find more chests or, or even iridium. I somehow have the feeling as if iridium might just spawn somewhere far, far away from my base. Could be the case. So drill tier 2 needs one extra slop of titanium. Okay. So... I'm gonna pick up cobalt and... If I find it, titanium. I recently got the impression as if titanium was one of the rarer materials lying around here. And keep an eye out on my other resources. But yeah, all in all, this seems to be a Oh, look at that. There's another crate. Food, ice, titanium, water. But beyond that, it's been a very disappointing crate. Okay, I'm gonna head home because I don't want to die miserably. And the oxygen levels are already dropping low. So, I feel like it's about time to consider building habitats as a way of refueling stations, if you might want to say so. I wonder if I can fetch myself resources by salvaging racks. So that could be probably an option to get Iridium from. Probably it's just yet another rock that I walk over and uh, not, not notice, but I somehow think that I didn't uh, miss the Iridium yet. Somehow I feel like I would have noticed that stuff already. Okay, so we can now deconstruct... No, not the wind turbines. We can now deconstruct the drills. One, two, three and reconstruct them bigger and better. One. Two. Alright, we're dropping on power here again. So... Can I drop down a solar panel? But not without silicon. Do I have silicon available? Yes, I have one glob of silicon available. Wonderful. Okay. As you know, no power, no base. No power, no terraforming. So these things are a little bit bad, huh? Okay. So, we're... It's looking good so far, gotta say. So, here's the iron... And I seem to be... Th these tier 2 drills seem to consume a lot of power. Let's check it out. Oh, they produce heat as well! Hell yeah! Nice! So we don't need heaters to produce heat. Awesome. So, there we go. Yeah, heaters would definitely produce more heat, but... Well, heaters gonna heat, I guess. But without Iridium, I can't do anything there. But hell yeah, we're producing heat there. Finally. Yeah, oxygen level is still not at the first 1,000 necessary units, so... Nice weather out there. <laughs> it's looking a little bit dangerous out there. So, what can we do now? Um... 
I helped myself to titanium and iron, so wind turbines generate 1.2 energy per second, whereas the solar panels are just so much more effective. So let's grab ourselves some silicon. Um, so far it doesn't seem to bother me more than the, than the usual weather. And we got ourselves a new backpack unlocked. So now we just have to fetch silicon from somewhere, preferably without dying. Do I have oxygen on me? Yes, I do. Perfect. Ah, there's a couple of silicon slabs. Wonderful. But I actually already do notice that it's getting hotter and hotter to find the stuff I need. Maybe that's wrong, maybe that stuff is all gen regenerating randomly, I haven't fully understood it yet. But... We begin there. Alright. So, can we build another solar panel now? Yes, we can. Alright. But it looks like there's no way of increasing the oxygen production without looting seeds. That's a weird thing. I mean, if we... If we take it uh, realistically, this stuff m should actually um, replicate itself at some point, because that's what organic matter does. But obviously the game is not agreeing with me. Okay, so we got access to the tier 3 backpack, which would be two units of aluminum. Well, I found that stuff somewhere else, but I don't want to go there one more time. So, solar panels... Um, once we have produced enough heat, the better veggie tubes will unlock. That's cool. Alright. So, I'm... Not sure how important these tier 2 drills actually are. But I want to have them nevertheless. So, we need iron and cobalt for next step. I really try to avoid using the cobalt now for, for oxygen packs because I feel like this seems to be a very important resource for other things as well. Alrighty. Now, uh, look at my little solar panel farm. There. More iron and silicon necessary, but first... Let me restock here. Okay. Let's have some space food, and it seems like I need some more water. And what was it again? Iron and cobalt. So far, I'm enjoying this game a lot. I don't know what it is, but it does scratch several itches of mine that are very happy about how this works like. The only thing I'm a little bit sad about is the fact that the, the whole survival aspect seems a little bit broken now in the... In, in this difficulty level, I, I really have no clue how you're supposed to get food in that regard in these amounts. I mean, in other difficulty levels, uh, you you don't um, you don't suffer that much when you're dying. You're merely dropping stuff, so you could basically just drop your inventory right before you starve, and then you'd be good to go, I guess. So let's have a look at my power grid here. I'm producing 37 kilowatts, and we're consuming a little bit less, uh, much less than that. So there is now room for drill number six, but I don't have the necessary iron. Okay, let's gather that. So we're going to put up a new trip back to this area somewhere sometime soon-ish. Soon TM. 
in this direction to gather some aluminum because I feel like that's I want to have that bigger backpack there's no reason not to want a bigger backpack you know but I feel quite good about the progress we made so far factorial vibes there's some serious factorial vibes coming up here so I'm lacking titanium now Titanium and cobalt. And I'm also very curious to see what the deconstruction of shipwrecks would yield. Alright, we got the cobalt, but we ain't got the titanium. Oh, here. Because I'm more than curious to see what you'll get out of that. Maybe I can dislodge the space um, capsule there. Should try that. But first, let's plot, plot down one more drill here. Here we go. So, it's, it's looking not that bad, isn't it? So, well, it'll take a while until new unlocks will happen, but indoor ladders now that's also an interesting concept so what did i where did i want to go again i wanted to craft myself some water bottle that was actually not what i had in mind with that uh, cobalt in my inventory but what gives so let's see All right. Ah, now I remember. I want to try if I can dismantle that thing here. Maybe there's some iridium in it, you know? Who knows? Living compartment class. Yay! Now I can actually look outside. Communication antenna. What's that good for? Receives transmissions from outer space. Use in combination with transmission screen. So, okay, looks like we got ourselves some new objectives here, well, some, but on the other hand, did I dump my aluminum there? No, I didn't, but... I also want to get rid of all these outside structures that are just bothering me there. So I have no clue anymore where I dumped that stuff at, but it's not that important. Next time I wanted to get in there, um, into the, into that gorge back there anyways, so. So. Looks like I can't dismantle anything here. Okay. This part will just stay with us, hey? No! Whoopsie. Luckily you are not losing anything when that happens. Alright, let's fetch ourselves some ice. And, well... I'd say, good time to prepare for the track. I can't... I, I seriously can't remember if the aluminum was back there or back there. That's one thing I'm a little bit bothered with, but we'll see about that. I wanted to explore both ruins at the end of the day, but let's see that we got. All right, I only need the titanium. Heard that before. Well, I want to check that chest there because I'm really curious now about that whole transmissions stuff and let's see maybe I'll I'll fetch a glob of titanium on the way somewhere somehow doubt it but right nope no titanium in the in the vicinity dang 
Alrighty. Oh, I hope I'll make it to the capsule. Mm. I don't want to chuck in an, an oxygen uh, blast there. So, just in time. Alrighty, my friends. So, I'll put down this run for today um, in a good spot here. So, next time we're going to go for a big exploration there. So, I'm going to fetch myself some oxygen capsules. Let's see. We're going to dump a little bit of that material here. We don't need all of that. And I'm very, very... Very, very curious to see where our journeys will lead us next time. So drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Next time, the track for aluminum will continue. See you guys there and have a good one. Bye-bye.